Game Maker How to Make the Player Fire Towards the Mouse Location. This is a common one people ask me how to do. You know, they want a game where the keyboard controls the player, but uh, they're clicking away with their mouse over here, and that's the direction they want to fire. Nice, easy one to do. Okay, you'll see I already have a player object there, so let's just go right to the player. We'll get them to fire their arrows towards the mouse. So let's go to the player object, and let's add the actual mouse click event. So, mouse. Now, if you do left pressed or released, this is assuming that the player is actually clicking on top of the player sprite. You don't want to use these ones. Uh, the whole point is the player is probably aiming like way over here, right? They're not definitely not on top of the player sprite. So this is global mouse, which means when the mouse is clicked anywhere in the room. So let's do a little global left pressed as the correct mouse event and let's add our code here now uh, players firing arrows I'll just uh, do that one for our example here so ABC instance create from the players XY let's create an arrow let's give the arrow some speed of 10 here now we have to figure out the direction of the arrow now, GameMaker has a method that we've used in quite a few uh, other tutorial videos called point direction. The point direction method, you give it an X and Y starting point and you give it an X and Y ending location and it'll calculate the angle necessary to go from here to here. And so this one's a nice useful one for us. So basically we're here at the player. So we're at the player's X and Y, and I want to go to wherever the mouse is. Now, GameMaker, of course, keeps track of where the mouse currently is, and it actually does that inside of the variables called mouse X and mouse underscore Y. And that's really it. Um, that easy. It's going to fire from this X and Y location to that X and Y location. So I'll do this quickly, and then I'm going to come back and make a little modification that I think looks good. So let's test this out. So here's my global mouse now. So I start the fire. Oh, I'll change the angle of the arrows to make it look a little better. But you can see it pretty well fires wherever I point to. So that's good. Very fun to fiddle with, too. Let's go fix the angle of the arrows and one other little change that I like. The image angle of this arrow we just created has variable inside of it, like every game maker object has uh, this variable called image angle. And all we want to do here is let's set the image angle to, now I don't want to make this one, I could do point direction. So I'll just do this two ways. I could do this. I mean, this should give me the same number as that. They are the exact same lines, right? Except another way to do this, which is probably a little more efficient, instead of getting this method to have to calculate, you know, all its weird math to find its answer, is I could just do this. Hey, this error was called ABC. Hey, ABC. Set your image angle equal to abc.direction. I mean, abc direction is this here. We just set it. Let's say we set it equal to uh, 65 degrees. So, hey, abc image angle equal abc.direction. So it sets itself to its direction. Okay, so either way, this should uh, help fix the problem. And... That little bonus that I was going to give you that I said I like to see in these games is often when you're firing right at the mouse, I always like to do a little uh, a little randomness. So maybe uh, add or minus a random number, right? Negative 3 all the way to 3. Who knows what random number it's going to pick. But it's just going to change that direction enough that you're not firing exactly at the mouse. You're firing close to the mouse. So that this way, it's a nice effect for things like uh, guns and bullets, is when I fire, you can see they all don't go exactly at the same direction. 
and you could even narrow it a bit, but it's close enough that it works, but gives the game a little variety there, right? Anyways, hope that helps, and it gets you thinking about how you can uh, do that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.